Welcome back, me hotties. Today is a little bit of a different video. I'm going to be reviewing an eyeshadow palette I was super excited to go out and purchase. And yes, I did purchase it. This is not a sponsored video. I was super excited to get this palette. I think you can kind of guess what it is. It is the Lorac Dead Men Tell No Tales Pirates of the Caribbean eyeshadow palette. I did not know they were going to come out with this. And when I saw this, I knew I had to have it because as you saw in my previous video of the barnacled up Will Turner, we have been, Berg and I, have been super big, super big? We've been huge Pirates of the Caribbean fans uh, since the very first one. So when I saw this, uh, I think it was on Instagram or um, a blog, I knew I had to at least get the eyeshadow palette, and that's what I did pick up. There is another palette that's a blush and highlight palette uh, that looks like the new heroine's um, star charting book, uh, Karina, I think her name is, Karina Smith, and there are an array of lip gloss lipstick duos, but I'm a sucker for eyeshadows and I really wanted this. Super excited to go out and get this palette this past weekend and dip into it and test it because it's probably one of the nicer eyeshadow palettes that I own currently, and it's one of my favorite Disney World rides. Haven't been out to Disneyland yet. I would love to one day. Aside from Haunted Mansion, Haunted Mansion is probably my favorite ride. This is probably my second favorite ride. Can you imagine a Haunted Mansion palette? Makeup company. Get with Disney. Do that. And besides it being Pirates of the Caribbean, which I've loved since the first movie, Curse of the Black Pearl, this new movie seems to have an astronomer in it, which is also Karina, which is the little star charting book that is the highlight blush palette. Uh, it's her book, and it's based on that. Uh, this new Pirates installment seems to have a lot about astronomy, which is another huge passion of mine. When you open up the palette, and it comes in this really cool box um, that I will be keeping, Inside the box as well is a galaxy star print that is really, really cool. And it's a really cool little commemorative box that has the eyeshadows on the back and a little detailing on the front and the new gold skull for the new installment. The palette is the real star of the show. It is Jack's compass, but inlaid on the top is the star motif and the star theme that says treasure in the stars on the top, and of course Pirates of the Caribbean on top of the rock on the side. Really cool palette overall. I love the little Guided by the Stars and Uncharted Brilliance, which is on the little pull down tab, which is where you can store the blush highlight palette, uh, Karina's little star chart uh, book. Let's open this and see the real cool stuff. When you open it, it has a protective sheet, which I like to keep just to keep the mirror clean. You can throw it out. This is Lorac on it. And before it falls out, I'm going to take out the really highly pigmented retractable black eyeliner that comes with the palette. Um, because what pirate does not wear eyeliner? I mean, hello. First, the 18 shades, which are all really cool colors, which I'll be swatching in a moment, in a really nice mirror um, with more of the Milky Way uh, galaxy motif, and of course, the brand name and the um, movie name up at the top again. There are seven matte shades and 11 glittery shades. All the matte shades that need to be matte are in there and all the shimmery shades that should be shimmery are in there. It's a really good, versatile palette. All of the eyeshadows have adorable pirate themed names as well as names that reflect the upcoming movie. These eyeshadows are nice and buttery with little fallout. Any real fallout came from the darker shades Black Pearl and Cursed. This palette retails for $52 and is definitely a collector's item as well as a gorgeous eyeshadow palette. Now on to the swatches, starting from the top left. Disregard my run-in with the East Indian Trading Company. To start, here are Ghostly and Starry Night. Compass and Arg. Black Pearl and Yoho. Moving to the second row, 
Bones, and Silver Mist. Treasure, and Tell No Tales. Shiver Me and Cursed. And the final row, Matt E, or Matey, and Lost at Sea. Pirate's Chest and Sea Haze. Menace and Silent Mary. And let's not forget about the retractable eyeliner pencil. Any eye look that I'm currently wearing was created solely with this palette, and if you'd like to see how I created it, keep on watching. Alright, starting off with a face base and eyebrows already done, I'm taking an eyeshadow primer and applying it all over my eye. As with all my videos, all other products will be listed in the description box below. To set the primer and give a good blending base, I'm taking Matte E, or Matey, and applying it all over my lid up to my eyebrow. In the crease, I'm applying Pirate's Chest, taking it just below my brow bone and slightly winging it out. Taking Sea Haze, I apply it all over my lid with an eyeshadow brush, bringing it up to Pirate's Chest but not blending them together. On the outer corner, I'm taking black pearl and winging it out. I'm also taking it just below the eye on the outer corner and smoking it out. I also take black pearl into my crease and blend it. To intensify the outer eye, I'm taking a bit of cursed and blending it in with black pearl. I also bring cursed down to my lower lash line and onto the outer corner. Taking Starry Night on a pencil brush, I apply it to the rest of my lower lash line, leaving room to add a little bit of Lost Sea towards my inner corner. I wanted a bit more murky green to blend in with Sea Haze, so I'm taking Menace in between the outer quarter blend and Sea Haze and blending them to a gradient. In my inner corner, I'm picking up Ghostly with a little bit of Shiver Me and applying it with my finger. To my brow bone, I'm picking up more Ghostly and applying it with my clean eyeshadow brush. To seal my prodigal fate, I'm taking the eyeliner that comes with the palette and tightlining my waterline. And with an ancient power found within the depths of the darkest seas, I magically have mascara, eyelashes, and lipstick. Topping off a look that shall shiver all the timbers.
overall, I'm very pleased with this palette. It is highly pigmented. It's probably one of the nicest eyeshadow palettes I own. I would definitely recommend this for costuming, cosplay, whatever you want to do. If you're a big Pirates of the Caribbean fan, I definitely recommend this. It's not only a collector's item, but a great palette to add to your makeup collection. Remember to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. And check me out over on my Facebook page, Instagram, to keep up with my costume updates outside of YouTube. See you next time. Super big. I did it again.